it is changing the learning is going to change and when the learning is going to change the assessments are also going to change the culture of assessments would no longer be asking a question and the student answering that which he would have wrote learned no more wrote learning no more memorization it would encourage you to do your higher order thinking get to the higher order thinking of apply analyze evaluate and create see it's all about questions and there are more questions as we go higher in the inverted pyramid and the level of thinking and the action and the capability and the capacity increases when i go beyond level 2 this is bloom's taxonomy why is it that i should restrict my students to remain at level 1 or level 2 or at the max level 3 which is recognize understand and apply it is not going to help them and when we talk about global disruptions we definitely need to take them to analyze evaluate and create level to compete at a global level which is the norm which is what is going to get them to the future and we can't prepare our students for yesterday we can't prepare them for today in fact the whole system of educating and imparting the knowledge is to prepare them for the future and if we don't get them to be at level 6 of bloom's taxonomy we are not preparing them for a bright future so that's where the enabling enriching and empowerment of the teachers is paramount look at the objective i picked it up again from the national education policy it talks about curriculum and pedagogy are transformed by 2022 well that may be extended by a year owing to the fact of the pandemic in order to minimize rote learning and instead encourage holistic development and 21st century skills such as critical thinking creativity scientific temper communication collaboration multilingualism problem solving ethics social responsibility and digital literacy digital literacy is not a subject that is to be taught to the younger generation they learn by themselves they are born with it so i need to focus on the other aspects which is mainly the thought process which is critical thinking scientific temper and how will i be more creative and when we talk about being creative it is not about just being restricted to arts or fine arts or performing arts no we are very very creative in every aspect of our learning and that's where i need to build the capacity of my educators to see how i will blend all of this together to make learning fun of course yes it needs to be fun which means that it is light it's not heavy and at the same time i inculcate the thought process of lifelong learning it was just 15 years of learning of coming to a school and college is not going to help me for the rest of my life i need to build that capacity of thinking that i am going to start learning now and the learning continues that is what will build the capability and the competency not only about the educators but of that of the learners our students so let's talk about capacity what are we talking about we talk about infrastructure we talk about resources and we talk about training that's how my capacity gets built yes so i should have the right resources to learn from to look up from to reference and to emulate i need to attend a lot of trainings to enhance my exposure to the knowledge that is available and of course i need to have the right infrastructure when i say infrastructure it is the experiential learning infrastructure within my homes in the schools in the colleges and within my brain within myself i need to build all of this to be really really effective while i am delivering some of the topic for example or a chapter 
when I'm in front of a uh, class and I need to involve them as partners, only then I can talk about being capable enough and having the capacity to cater to the inquisitive minds, the questioning minds and the thinking minds of my audience. And my audience in this case would be the students. And yes, government has done a lot of efforts and has brought in a lot of resources at our disposal, which I will uh, uh, mention about the Diksha, the NPTEL and a whole lot of other things that has been spoken about, which leads to continuous professional development of teachers. It's a continuous professional development that is needed. It is not a switch on, switch off button.